So my presentation is also about operations, but I'm gonna cheat and use the clicker. If you recall from my keynote earlier, one of the features I said of Cloud Foundry that was sort of, sort of not matured yet in the product is the features around monitoring and alerting. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how Monsanto sees monitoring and alerting through Cloud Foundry using a tool that you might not think of. So yay, logs. Um, all application developers know the importance of logs. And if you're using Cloud Foundry, Cloud Foundry actually has a pretty good method already of aggregating logs and exposing those to the developers, and that's called Logger Data. But what if for your other applications in your enterprise, maybe you have things that aren't running on Cloud Foundry or if you have you know, um, other infrastructure technologies, you use a very common log technology called Splunk, and you wanna integrate the two together. Well, Pivotal has written up some documentation on how you do this integration and Matt Stein, who's here at the conference today, uh, did a YouTube video on how you set up that integration. But you're saying, wait a minute, logs, I thought this was about monitoring and alerting, I don't wanna hear about logs. Um, but actually, Splunk can do that too. And this was something I didn't realize, but when I think about monitoring, uh, the, the image that comes to mind is what's my CPU util utilization uh, trended historically over the past, say, 30 days or something like that. But if you think about it, if you're capturing that metric of CPU utilization, spinning it out to a log, and then you can send that to Splunk, Splunk can very easily chart and graph that utilization over time. So what I've done is combine a new tool from Pivotal called Pivotal Ops Metrics, and this tool talks to all the components of your Cloud Foundry environment, and it exposes, uh, it gathers some critical metrics and exposes those metrics over a JMX endpoint. So I've taken that and I've taken an extension to Splunk called JMX for Splunk, and I've combined the two together, and that's how you can uh, sort of generate these charts and, and you get a CPU utilization graph like this that makes your sysadmins feel all warm and fuzzy. So uh, here's a picture of the app that I put together. Um, this is a picture of the DEA specific metric page. So you can see I'm charting the CPU load for the four DEAs that are in the environment. Um, there's some other DEA relevant metrics here. And then you can see the various other components of the Cloud Foundry environment that, that also have pages like this, like the cloud controller, the router, etcd, and so on and so forth. Um, a really useful metric is a very simple one also, and it's called healthy. So this is a metric that is just either, it's a binary value, it's a one if, it, if it's healthy, and it's a zero if it is not. Um, so you can see in this particular example, we have our second DEA is reporting uh, a zero for health, which means that there is an issue with it. So, okay, so that covers monitoring, so what about alerting? Because you, know, you need to be alerted that that DEA went down. Well, Splunk can do that too. So any of the metrics that you're capturing with Splunk, you can create these custom alerts for, and I've, I've created a, a, a number of them already. So let's take a look at one of those. So here's the alert that I created to say, okay, monitor all the components of my Cloud Foundry environment and alert me if the ephemeral disk gets greater than 80% used. And so this is a little bit how you set that up. Um, you can define you know, what schedule you wanna be alerted to on, who you wanna set that alert to, um, and things like that. So, in that graph I showed earlier where that second DEA was reporting a health of zero, here's the email that I got that said, hey, there's a DEA down, go do something about it. So you're looking at this and you're saying, hey, this looks pretty cool, but I've never used Splunk before. Um, but the good news is that there is a open source free version available, so you can go download it and you can play with it if you've never tried it before. Um, more good news is it's actually pretty intuitive. So I had never used Splunk before either, but I went from never using it before to building this app in roughly a week of my free time. And then the greatest news of all is I've already laid the foundation for you. So what's next? Um, Pivotal Ops Metrics exposes a whole bunch of attributes, a whole bunch of metrics for all the components of your Cloud Foundry environment. So really what we need to know is what do all these attributes mean? Which ones do I need to care about? and what are some thresholds that I need to set in my alerts. Um, so what I would like to ask of you is to collaborate with me. Um, go download the app from my GitHub page and let me know what you think. Thank you.